Hi, my name is Liz Shanks, mom of two and children's book enthusiast. I'd like to welcome you to Liz's Book Snuggery, which features Liz's Picks videos where you will find some of the best reads in children's picture books, read aloud segments, and Way Back Wednesdays, where I dig up an essential classic from my library to share with all of you. So I invite you to please stop by lizsbooksnuggery.com. Our book today is Tea Party Rules by Amy Dykeman, illustrated by K.G. Campbell. Have you ever played tea party with a young child? Seems simple enough, right? The table is usually nicely laid with teacups, a pot to pour from, of course, and if you really hit the jackpot, real refreshments. These are in lieu of the pretend kind that most kids may serve that you both eat while miming delicately, but with great relish, of course. Well, the same is true of bear cubs and tea parties. Playing along is the name of the game, and in Tea Party Rules, if you are a cub, just having stumbled upon a tea party, you learn the rules pretty quickly, or no cookies. This young cub is quick on the uptake as he notices the rules matter little to the stuffed bear already seated at table, because he's, well, stuffed. And when said bear conveniently slips off his chair, the young cub sees a perfect way into an invite to the party. What's to prevent the newly arrived real cub from sitting in as a sort of stuffed sit-in, which can eat? It fits his purposes to a T, T-E-A, or T. <laughs> but the cub bear quickly finds there are definite rules of etiquette to be observed before the refreshments, in this case, cookies are served. Tea party rules are as follows. You must be clean. You must be neat. You must be fancy. Picture a visual here of a grubby, hungry cub that is by turns bathed, primped, dressed to the nines with a dress hat and feathered pink boa by his young hostess. Oh, the ignominy. Oh, the price of a cookie. Then the final insult. He is spritzed with perfume. Well, the last straw is the eating daintily part. Do you think the cub can keep up with his tea time stuffed bear charade one more minute as the warm aroma of cookie fills this small Bruin's nostrils? Chaos predictably ensues, but as he has had to learn the rules of the tea party, his young female tea party companion must learn there are rules that are firm and those that are well flexible. And the first rule of hospitality when entertaining is to make one's guests feel comfortable. Our young tea time hostess has a great deal to learn in that regard. I love the woebegone look on the bear's cub's face as he is gussied up pre-party. Patient endurance is the best way to describe his facial features, and the illustrations capture them perfectly. If your child is going to a tea party, plans one, or is just up for a laugh-filled romp of what can go wrong in an overplanned party until the tea boils over, so to speak, Tea Party Rules is a party worth attending with your young reader. Vicariously through a bear cub, you will eventually get to sample these cookies, and they're great. And so is the book. This particular tea party definitely does rule. I'm Liz Shanks, and thank you for joining us on this video from Liz's Book Snuggery. Our book today was Tea Party Rules by Amy Dykeman, illustrated by K.G. Campbell. And remember, you are what you read. And I'll see you next time. Bye.